more power now with a much different alignment. We're almost starting all over again with the car. Definitely have the need for ABS. All the top of pack besides Eric have ABS. Our coolant temps are super low. The fans are wired direct right now until we get all that stuff squared away. I smell gear oil a little bit. A little, little oil on the pan to block seal. We found some engine oil, but I definitely smell some gear oil. If this ruins our weekend, I think I gotta pull the plug on this GLTC thing. Last night was a super late night to the tune of like 11 p.m. or midnight or something like that. We got what we need to fix a fan relay, so Cheek's jumping right on that. So we'll at least have that sorted out. Last night, Andy and Dakota finally figured out that it was the ABS ECU that was bad. Andy took his ABS ECU and put it on the car and everything worked, everything checked out. And we didn't use it because he needed it for the next day, but that helped us because we go, okay, we know for a fact it's this. Matt Nance uh, from our headquarters is gonna overnight us one for tomorrow, but we are gonna go into practice, qualifying and race today with no ABS. I've never even driven the car with ABS, so I do know what to expect. Uh, it's just kind of a bummer that we keep having to do this. I feel good. I'm really, really soft and tired right now. Yeah. But uh, it's like I, we know we don't have ABS, so it's like that expectation is set, so that's fine. Again, it's one of those things where I hate to like reiterate the fact that like we're kind of back to developing, but um, we'll see. I'm tired. I'm gonna take a nap while we're driving. Let me know when they're rolling. I'm almost there. Will do. So we're getting on false grid, and I hear a hell of a noise. Does not sound good. I, I'm talking to Hunter about it. I hear kind of like, and maybe I'm just being paranoid, but I hear like a newish noise. It kind of sounds like mechanical when I'm driving. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you hear that? Like a loud groan? Yeah. Yeah, I heard that too, but it all it went along with the clutch throw out bearing situation. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Um, I'm gonna try not to worry about it. We're on track and it's getting worse. Yeah, it's definitely something for kind of like he kind of bouncing around. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to talk it through with Hunter. Uh, it's not really confidence inspiring to drive a car when you're hearing those type of noises. Sounds like the uh, throw out there. It's constant, like, like something's getting kicked around. I just try to drive through it and see what we got. So unfortunately I'm having to pull my driving back once more because uh, I, I just, I have this feeling something's wrong. I, it sounds bad, it's getting worse. It sounds like something's like dragging the ground, kind of like, you know the noise it makes when the exhaust is on the ground? That's what it sounds like. Uh, okay. Um, I don't want to tell you this, but bring it in and let me look under it. So a yellow flag had come out and uh, once we kind of slowed down, man, it sounded bad. Uh, uh, something's happening. Okay. It's dead. I'm gonna try to limp it home. Copy that. 
this is, this is, what do you want me to do? This is bad. It, it sounds awful. Yeah, the gearbox is shot. We're probably a couple hours away from qualifying and I'm pretty sure we've scattered a gearbox so it's the worst problem we could have getting ready for qualifying. Yeah, I can feel it in the gear selector. It's like it got worse and like remember I was like man I'm hearing this noise. The box has got to come out. We're just gonna start pulling the gearbox. We have a spare one. Hopefully we can get it in time. We'll probably miss qualifying, but get it back in time for race one. We're probably going to miss qualifying. So we'll start at the back. Again. So I know this is the GLTC show, but uh, we're drifting all weekend in the E36, and the E36 has kind of been a headache for the last year. Uh, well, we go out for the first session, everything seems fine. I do a sight lap, and then my second lap, I have the weirdest noises I've ever heard on a car. And the car would very, very rapidly change directions in the rear, like, it felt like rear steering. And I said, I gotta pit out, this is crazy. So we pull into the pits and I get out with my helmet still on and I look under and there's one subframe bolt. One of four. That is the worst case scenario thing that can happen. If a car is following you on track and your subframe falls out, that will hurt somebody or total his car. And Chase Bays is not the company or the group of people that need to have that happen. That is not who I am. That is not who we are. We don't strip out subframe bolts or do anything like that. Somehow I made it back to our uh, booth and like, we couldn't even back it up because I mean, the front wheels turned this way, the back wheels just went like that. So it would just skip. It was insane. It was like, honestly, probably one of the scarier moments. Just not in the moment necessarily because you don't know what's going on, but looking back, that is terrifying and be, would be horribly embarrassing. And I'm just telling everybody that that's what almost happened. And that's just, you gotta be careful. Cars up on the jack stands, they're getting ready to pull the thing, and it might actually not be a gearbox. It was this. Yeah, that's that one line. So the dust cover on the rear of the tail shaft of the gearbox has completely come off, and it's bouncing around on the actual drive shaft and whatnot. So this is our spare gearbox. This ring right here is like press fit onto the tail shaft. And what we just saw after pulling it apart pulling the exhaust off and being able to see everything, is that this ring, it's just its just hanging. It's just hanging in there and bouncing around. So maybe that's all it is. Maybe it's not a gearbox after all. Maybe it's just a noise. Okay, that would make, I could still go into gears, man. That'd be yeah, great. Yeah, okay. We'll check it though. That, that could be all it was, because if it's spinning on the drive shaft, it'll transmit that all the way through. Honestly, this caught me off guard. I kind of already, you know, made peace with the fact that we're not gonna qualify or whatnot. When I thought the gearbox was shot, gearbox wasn't shot. So I checked my brain out of qualifying. Now I gotta check back into qualifying. And now we're, we were still working on the car, so we're at the very back here, so. Qualifying for the most part was uneventful. Uh, one or two yellow flags. I really wasn't fast. I mean, I was kind of struggling in the braking zones again with the no ABS. I 
tried breaking where Eric Jensen did and I locked them all up, so that kind of sucked. It's still kind of hard to shift. I don't know, I'm trying to put everything out of my mind, but there's just, there's a lot going on. As the car sounds good. Hold fog and get tire pressures again. It got so much quieter just then whenever I turned, like whenever we stopped. Qualifying didn't go so well. Uh, I don't know where he qualified, but it was below 30th. Brian has never really driven the car the way it's set up now. We've got a new engine, basically an entirely new suspension set up because of that rear arm issue. So he's doing the first laps in the car. Like you can pretty much erase anything that happened at Barber or at CMP or anything like that. The only thing that we got to work on is the front end. I don't want to give up any of the rear grip, so maybe we just mess with the dampers. We're going to make some Penske adjustments. The bars are kind of where they're going to be, uh, so we're going to start trying to work on the dampers to give this front end some compliance. Please start getting ready. GLTC drivers, start getting ready. We're getting ready for race one. It's coming up pretty shortly, and Sheik noticed that the exhaust was broken at the flex joint. Okay. It's broke. Where? Right here. What? Oh, the flex pipe? Yeah. It's right in front of the wide band. We need that for fueling, so they're just gonna throw some zip ties on it, get it together, and we're just gonna send it. Let's just go race. Five minutes for GLTC, official five minutes. Drivers in cars, drivers in cars. Radio check. Yeah, copy, I got you. As we're heading to the false grid, um, it starts to make a hell of a noise again. This thing's making a hell of a noise right now. Uh, dude, I don't, I don't know. I don't know where we're at right now. I know that's not very confident since the firing, but I'm just, I'm out of things to say about noises, and I just, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's coming from the gearbox. I smell gear oil on pit lane. One of the guys smells gear oil. I kind of have a tough decision to make. Hunter's at a loss for words. I'm at a loss for words. All right, dude, I don't, I don't know what else to do. I don't, it's all good. Dude, this thing, I gotta pull it in. You wanna hang it, you wanna put the tires on? Yeah, hang on. Go to the other side. Final call for GOP. Go. Go. 